Ngayong araw na ito, matututunan naman natin ang isa sa mga derivative rules na kailangan nating matutunan sa pagkuha ng derivatives ng ilan sa mga functions tulad ng mga functions na gagawin natin o gagamitin natin sa examples ngayong araw na ito. Now, ang chain rule, by definition, ito yung derivative para sa mga composite functions tulad ng function na meron tayo dito sa board. So, we have a function a a of x, which is equal to the square of 5x plus 1. Now, kung idadisect natin itong ating function na a of x, pwede natin kunan or makakuha ng dalawang functions dito sa quantity 5x or, quantity or the square of 5x plus 1. So, mapapansin nyo, kung uh, babalik na rin natin or i-reverse natin yung composition of function, yung f of x natin would be yung x squared at yung g of x naman natin will be yung 5x plus 1. Dahil kung gagawin natin siyang composite function of f of g of x, yung ating mga x's dun sa ating x squared or f of x will be replaced by 5x plus 1. Therefore, kung gagawin natin composition of function yung ating f of x and g of x, ito ay equal sa a of x, which is the square of 5x plus 1. Now, medyo confusing sa umpisa kung bakit kailangan kong ipakita yung composition of function mula sa a of x, pero maiintindihan nyo kung bakit kailangan yung makita or ma-visualize yung dalawang functions dito sa loob ng a of, a of x. So, ilan sa mga examples ng composite functions will be m of x, which is equal to 3x minus 7 raised to, I mean, 3x minus 2 raised to 7, na kung saan ang ating f of x would be x raised to 7th, at yung ating g of x will be 3x minus 2, or yung function sa loob ng ating parentheses. Yung ating susunod na function naman ay isa pa rin composite function, wherein b of x is equal to the square of x plus 1. Now, kung paghihiwalayin natin siya sa dalawang functions, yung f of x will be the square root of x, or yung square root nitong nasa loob, na function natin at yung g of x will be yung x plus 1 or yung nasa loob ng square root. Kaya, isang example ng composition of function yung b of x. At yung last example natin will be e raised to 3x raised to 2 over 3. At ang uh, um, composition of function niya will be yung f of x which is x or yung buong function na to sa loob ng parentheses raised to 2 third na i-replace natin sa variable x at yung g of x naman will be yung function inside the parentheses which is e raised to 3x. Kaya ko pinapakita yung composition of function dahil yung chain rule na tinatawag as a derivative rule na gagamitin natin ngayon ay mag apply lang sa mga functions na tulad na ito. So, um... It's safe to say na kapag nakakita kayo ng uh, function sa loob ng parentheses raised to a power, chain rule yung gagamitin nyo para makuha nyo yung derivative ng function na yun. So let's have our first example which is yung a of x at kunin natin yung derivative ng a of x using the chain rule. Now, ang basic concept ng chain rule is kailangan natin kunin yung derivative ng dalawang functions na pinag-isa, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng composite functions na 5x plus 1 raised to the second power. So, to find the derivative of a of x, kukunin lang natin yung derivative ng f of x, which is yung x squared, given by this function right here. So, mapapansin nyo, instead na yung buong function yung sinulat ko, kinuha ko yung parenthesis square, at yung inside niya will be Nilagyan ko ng box kasi yung box na to ito yung magre-represent sa 5x plus 1. So, ang una natin gagawin is kukunin natin yung derivative ng f of x times the derivative ng nasa inside which is yung g of x. So, kung uh, gagawin natin to as a visual, mas maiintindihan nyo kung bakit natin pinaghiwalay yung dalawang functions mula dito sa 5x plus 1 raised to the second power. Now, sa pagkuha ng ating f of x or derivative ng f of x, ibababa lang natin si 2 at magkakaroon tayo ng 2 times the function inside the box times the derivative naman nung nasa loob which is yung derivative ng 5x plus 1 which is equal to 5. So, kung pagkocombine natin yung function na yan, yung derivative ng a of x will be simply 2 times 5 times yung ating function na nandoon sa loob ng parentheses. So, kung isi-simplify natin yung derivative na to using yung rule nga na chain rule, yung ating a prime of x will be 2 times 5 which is 
times 5x plus 1. So, yan yung tinatawag na chain rule na kung saan kinukuha natin yung derivative na isang function na nasa loob ng parentheses raised into a power. So, kung gagawin natin yan uli dito sa example number 2, wherein ang f of x naman natin is 3x squared minus 7x raised to the fifth power, tulad ng ginawa natin, Kukunin natin yung derivative nito as a whole, which is yung f of x, and then imumultiply natin yung derivative nung nasa loob, which is yung g of x. So we'll have the derivative of the outside, which is yung f of x, um, the function raised to the fifth power, times yung derivative nung inside, which is 3x squared minus 7x. So yung derivative nitong f of x, or yung nasa labas na function, will be 5 times... The function inside raised to the fourth power times yung derivative no nasa loob, which is 6x minus 7. So, ang ating derivative ngayon will be 5 times yung 6x minus 7 times yung ating parentheses raised to the fourth power, which is, which is the derivative of f of x. So, you have 3x squared minus 7x raised to the fifth power. So, to further simplify your answer, yung f prime of x nyo will simply be 30x minus 35 times yung ating 3x to the second power minus 7x raised to the fifth power. So yan yung ating derivative ng 3x squared minus 7x raised to the fifth power using our chain rule. So, yung example number 3 natin, example pa rin siya ng chain rule kasi meron tayong f of x which is equal to the square root of 2x plus 1. So, alam natin na kapag kukuha tayo ng derivative ng isang radical function, it's a change natin siya into exponential function. Kaya yung 2x plus 1 or square root of 2x plus 1, pwede natin i-rewrite as 2x plus 1 raised to 1 half. And from here, meron tayong dalawang functions dyan, f of x at saka g of x. Yung f of x natin will be yung uh, x raised to 1 half at yung ating g of x will be the function inside the parentheses. So yung derivative nitong parentheses natin raised to 1 half will be 1 half parentheses raised to the negative 1 half times yung derivative no nasa loob, which is 2x plus 1, which gives us 2. So, ang derivative niya, kapag isi-simplify na natin, pwede natin i-multiply si 1 half and 2, at kopyahin lang natin yung parentheses raised to the negative 1 half. So, yung 1 half times 2, pwede nyo makancel yan, at ang matitira na lang sa atin is yung 2x plus 1 raised to negative 1 half. And once again, yung 2x plus 1 natin is basically the function inside our radical Function. So, to further simplify yung ating answer, yung f prime of x natin, pwedeng ito yung sagot, at pwede rin naman natin siyang gawing radical, which is f prime of x equal to 1 all over the square root of 2x plus 1 para magkaroon tayo ng positive exponent. At yan yung example number 3. At sa example yan yung chain rule na tinatawag na kung saan magagamit natin ito kapag ka yung ating function ay inside the parentheses and raised into a power.